Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Next.js on Windows. Okay, let's get started. So before you install Next.js, you have to make sure you have installed Node.js on your computer. Here, you can download the long-term support edition and the installation is pretty simple. You just click on the files and click next, next, next until it's done. And the next step, I recommend you open PowerShell to check if Node.js has been installed successfully. Type Node dash v you will see i have installed node on my computer successfully the next step let's open google chrome again and then search for nac.js okay click on nac.js over here and then go to documentation and you can install nac.js by using yarn npx or npm in this case i'm going to use npx for example, I want to create Nax.js projects on desktop. I'm going to create a folder over here. I name is Nax.js. Okay. And get into the folder and then press shift on keyboard and right click and open PowerShell window here. Okay. The next step, we are going to execute this command. NPA create Nax app. Okay. NPX create Nax app and the next parameter is the name of the application for example i'm going to name is my nax app hit enter then it's going to ask me to verify or to confirm the project's name i just hit enter if i don't want to change you can choose here between javascript and typescript so i'm going to use javascript and the package manager is going to ask you whether you use yarn or npm. I highly recommend npm because we use Node.js. And it's going to ask the UI framework. You can choose Bootstrap, Tailwind CSS, but I'm going to choose none. And then it's going to ask you the template engine. You can choose HTML or Puck. I'm going to choose HTML. And over here, you can choose like the module for HTTP clients. I'm going to choose Axios. And over here, I choose ESLint. And then testing framework, you can choose Jest, Ava, and WebDriver IO, but I choose none. And over here, I recommend choosing single page application. And over here, we just choose like choose deployment target between server, Node.js hosting or static. You can choose whatever you want. And here, just hit enter. And git name, yeah, if you install git on your account, you can just hit enter. And version control, you can choose git or none. I'm going to choose git because I like it. And it's going to install the package that you need for Next.js on the folder over here, my Next app. You have to wait until it's done so you can open the projects and edit the code. Then it's going to recommend the command that you have to do next. You can like type in the folder cd my next app and then run npm run dev. Or you can start to build to upload into the server by using npm run build or npm run start. Okay, let me open this folder with Visual Studio Code. Let me drag and drop it on the icon over here. Then it will open the projects for me. Over here, you just go to terminal, new terminal. You can run this command, npm run dev, npm run dev. And then the application will run on localhost port 3000. You can press control and click. It will open the application on web browser. See? We successfully installed Next.js on our computer. If you want to edit something, for example, you can go to component over here. It's recommend you to like to delete this one. Okay. To remove tutorial component. This is tutorial component. You can remove it because it's just a sample component. And you can go to page over here. You can remove component from here. And you can put H1 over here. Hello. Next. JS. Save it. And you will see hello Next.js. 
Uh, you can stop the application by press Ctrl C on terminal and then press Y. Hit enter. Uh, you can run this command npm run build. npm run build. It will build this file so you can upload the files in web server. Over here you will see this. The disk files is the files that you can upload to the server. Alright, this is all about how to install Next.js on Windows. If you like this video, feel free to click like, subscribe, and comment down below. Please comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.